This review is very personal to me. Um, you see, when I was a kid, my grandma, who, well, one of my grandparents, they live out in Ridgecrest, and they, they had the first three seasons of The Muppet Show and quite a few movies on DVD of The Muppets. And from the moment I saw those things, for the very first time, it clicked. I love The Muppets. I watched them every day. I had collector sets. I owned all the movies at one point on DVD. I owned all the sets. The DVD sets were very poor, though, because they pop out of the slots, so I got rid of all of them. And all the movies that I did own, uh, most of them came out on Blu-ray, and I, I figured the rest of them were, were but they didn't. And they're on Di most of them are on Disney Plus now, and so I'm, I don't really feel the need to rebuy some of them anyways. But my goal is to eventually review all the Muppet Show, uh, or not Muppet Show, Muppet Movies. Because you really can't get all of the Muppet Show. I believe there's more than three seasons of the Muppet Show, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but those were never released on DVD. And uh, Muppet Babies is pretty hard to find. But, hey, maybe one day I'll, f I'll find it all. But, so yeah, they, they were very personal to me. I grew up with these characters. I watched their shows. They're, I've, I look up, I sometimes I just look up this just certain celebrity guest stars that I love seeing, like Alice Cooper and Elton John, and I just watch those people as as they, for those parts. I, I look up songs, and every once in a while I'll hear one pop back into my brain ever. A Kermit the Frog up there somewhere over on my other shelf. And yeah, I just, there was something very personal to me. I'm not going to act like they're flawless or anything. But yeah. So back when the 2011 Muppet movie came out, I flipped out. Because what happened was, is I don't remember what movie this was, but I was with my other grandparents and my parents, and we all went to go see a movie. I think we were on a beach trip. Like, we were near the beach, and we were, like, staying in a beach house. Anyways, we were at the theater that year. And there's this little poster. It says, The Muppets. And it's just silhouettes of Muppets. And I'm like, The Muppets? I thought they were gone. I thought it was over. Because there hadn't been a Muppet thing in years. Of course, someone back then at my age was not reading articles about movie news and how there's a new Muppet movie and how Disney acquired the rights to the Muppets and things like that. So I flipped out. Of course, I saw that movie and I loved it. I, it was the most flawless thing I'd ever seen. It's the best movie ever made. I, I was I had the soundtrack. I got it one year for Christmas. Listened to that thing until it was broken and couldn't work anymore. The case, the, the case, I mean, was destroyed. And of course, I memorize all the lyrics to "Am I a man or am I a Muppet?" And yeah, it it it, it was a and you know what? That year was the most I ever heard people talk about the Muppets. Everyone was talking about. It. Everybody loved that movie. Even my grandparents loved that movie. Uh, even the ones who did, didn't show me the Muppets, but anyways, they loved it. Everybody loved it, and it was and it's honestly. A great movie. It has some flaws, yes, uh, but, you know. And then when the sequel, Muppets Most Wanted, came out, that was okay. Uh, I like that one more, I think. I don't know. I kind of need to rewatch these movies in review. Since I have Disney+, Plus, I'll probably be watching all the Muppet movies on there and giving you all reviews of them at my own p pace. Um, but just having those characters there... It's just, wow. Okay, you know, I just, I just really liked, I just loved the Muppets. And I thought, and you know, and then they announced this ABC show, which my Uncle Tim, I had, I had a Facebook account, which I, I still have. Uh, I do not use it. I do not have the app on my phone. I'm not really signed into the app on my phone or on the computer or anything. I don't really use it, Facebook. I could care less about it. 
But anyways, my uncle, they were, I was seeing all these um, images of the new Muppet show coming to ABC a few years back. And I was like, hmm, this is, oh, I got really excited. So I turned into like every single episode. I loved the premiere. I just loved everything Muppet. So you could show me the worst possible thing and I would love it. Uh, you know, I, I just loved them. And, um, you know, so when I got this, uh, Disney Plus, I kind of wanted to browse and see what Muppet stuff they had. Because, of course, Disney owns the rights, but they maybe didn't have everything. Because I believe some movies were actually made by Sony, so they don't have the rights to that. Muppet Babies, the original version, not the Disney Junior show, uh, I believe was made by a different studio. Uh, there's all kinds of... There's all kinds of rights issues is all I'm saying. Uh, hopefully Disney can work that out and get those things. Because what is Sony going to do? Uh, I believe they're the ones who own the rights. Maybe they just distributed it on Blu-ray Blu of Muppets Take Manhattan, Muppets in the Space. You know, what are they going to do with those movies? Probably nothing, right? Sorry, my voice is like, ugh. You know, so I kind of wonder um, what's going to happen there. Maybe Disney will go and buy the rights to stuff. Like, what are they going to do with them? Maybe, you know, Sony will shut down as a company. Maybe some of those rights will revert back to certain people. Or just Disney will get back. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um... Uh, I mean, they've worked out a deal with so Sony for Spider-Man twice now. So, twice. So, anything's possible. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I was pretty excited for the show. And I, I kind of just wanted to rewatch it. I watched a few episodes back when uh, Hulu first came out. And I kind of didn't pay that much attention to it. I didn't really watch the whole season. And, uh, as someone who not seen The Office at the time, I didn't get, I kind of liked this take just because of the Muppets. I didn't understand what it was kind of doing. Basically, this version of the Muppets is a late night talk. It is a Office style show where the characters are all working on a talk show called Up Late with Miss Piggy. And this takes place... After at least the first season. And there is only one season. And I'll kind of talk about why I think this show didn't do that well. And my complaints. Things I like here. Um, so anyways. They they work on a talk show called Up Late with Miss Piggy. And this takes place after Kermit and Piggy have actually broken up. So. And. You know. So. Yeah, that's kind of where this season starts, and this season, uh, this this does fe this does have traits in the Muppets. It's like there's guest star guest guest stars every single episode, um, and I must say the guest stars I I think are my least favorite part because they're not usually incorporated into the story all that much. There's a couple episodes, there's like three or four of them, or, you know, whether incorporated in, into it, but really they're just kind of randomly there. And, uh, their sequences are usually just at the end credits, they're performing a song in a very poorly edited and kind of shot sequence. And they're good songs most of the time, like, they're songs I know of, and some of them aren't good songs because I just cannot stand pop music. I'm sorry if you like pop music, that's fine. It's just not my style of music. I'm not against it because I freak him up Billy Joel and he's technically classified as pop even though I'm more considering classic rock. Um, but you know, I'm just saying. So I'm not against pop music. Like it, whatever. I don't really care. It's just not my thing. And so I find most of it pretty bad, especially nowadays. Um... So, you know, I didn't like that. And, you know, so that's the thing there. Um, 
the style I don't think works for the Muppets. Uh, because number one, Muppets is kind of... I know a lot of people think the Muppets is for kids, but it's it's kind of is, kind of isn't. It's kind of just a thing like the Flintstones. The Flintstones, I would even argue a little bit of the Simpsons, aren't necessarily made for adults. I mean, you could argue, yeah, the Simpsons is aimed for adults. And you're technically right. The Flintstones, I would argue, you know, it's kind of a thing where, okay, you know, your kid could watch the Flintstones, but it's technically more more an adult thing. Like this, the Flintstones is was advertising cigarettes and things like that. And the Muppets were using guest stars that most kids back then wouldn't know or appreciate, and there were senses of humors, and there were movies that they were parodying and different things that most kids just flat out wouldn't get, you know. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of uneducated kids think the Muppets is just some kid thing because they're puppets, kind of like Sesame Street, and they're wrong. They're flat out are wrong. I've had to deal with this crap for years, but they're wrong. Um, you know, but this, you know, but... I still think you should try to aim it at everyone. You can have a few adult jokes or more mature jokes, but, you know. This show makes me question things about the Muppets I don't really want to question. Uh, relationship dramas, their sexualities, uh, you know, them having kids, marriage, marital issues, you know. Things like that, I just don't want to question um, about the Muppets. Uh, I, you know, them them doing alcohol and beer and things like that. These are just things I just don't want to see. These are the Muppets, um, and it's kind of weird because there's jokes that I think are only funny to like kids, or maybe I mean there are jokes I found funny definitely in the show. I'm not acting like the show isn't funny because it do it does have a good sense of humor. I mean, this is a comedy series. It is taking inspiration from The Office, which is a comedy series. But these weird and wacky characters put into realistic settings really doesn't work. And the fact that they're doing more mature jokes on a Disney show with characters that are technically supposed to be for all ages, it really doesn't work. And... It bothered me. It it weirded me out a little bit. And there were points to the show where I was contemplating things. And, you know, but hey, now there are characters I really do like in this show. There's an original character that was added called um, Chip, the IT guy, which he can be kind of funny at times. He's, he, I, I mean, I... I, I mean, he's funny every once in a while. He's occasionally has a good joke, but I didn't think he worked all that well. He can be funny, though. Um, Crazy Big Mean Carl, I believe is his name. The guy who talks like this! That guy. He, he is actually... He has my favorite interpretation of this character throughout the series. Um... Because he just comes in at random moments to be weird and uncomfortable and just give a weird line. And that's totally something a character from The Office would do. But that's just my favorite interpretation of this character. Um, Deadly is another one of my favorite interpretations of this character. He's kind of Miss Piggy's like um, instigator for, you know. Uh, so he kind of like keeps Miss Piggy out of trouble and... Keeps the drama to a minimum. And I liked him in this show. Bobo the bear is given the most he's ever been able to do. And I, I liked him. He's one of, another one of my favorite interpretations. Scooter is given the most he's ever had to do. And I think he's the funniest he's ever been in this show. And uh, yeah. So this part is going to have mild spoilers. Um, so you've been warned. If you don't... It, I, I'm going to try not to spoil anything major, and if I do, I'll, I'll give a spoiler warning. So, 
Uh, the first the half of the season is mostly focused on the show more. Um, you get an episode about Fozzie and stuff, and it's more focused a little bit on the other Muppets. Then it switches a little bit halfway through to focus on Kermit and his love life. And of course, uh, this is after a breakup, but you get to see in the first... You, they talk about this in the first episode. You get, so it's not like it wasn't touched on at all. It is mentioned early on in the season, but it just it's later on in the season it goes to like a bigger focus. And you meet Denise, which is Kermit's girlfriend. Uh, who he, he has moved on and Piggy hasn't in the show. Sharp Mazer spoilers. I mean, it's not going to ruin anything that you know this. But my problem with Denise is like, you don't, you don't really learn how they, I mean, it's kind of mentioned, kind of not. You don't really get how they met and kind of why they're dating, what happened. Because Piggy hasn't moved on, obviously. And it's kind of weird. And, uh, Major spoiler over alert, so skip ahead about 30 seconds. Piggy, uh, uh, Denise, and Kermit break up. And my problem with their breakup was like, there wasn't much. I don't know how to explain it. There wasn't much character characterization for Denise before this happened, and it was kind of like, well, okay. And then, and then there, and then of course you knew. All right, uh, I guess major spoilers. Skip ahead about two minutes, and then you should be good. Um, you know, Kermit and Piggy get together again, which is something that I expected. But the first half of the season, Miss Piggy is an insensitive, terrible person. Who just makes spontaneous bad decisions, causes problems for everyone else, causes Kermit stress to the point where he, there's literally a line about how Kermit says that he he wakes up to the sound of his own screams instead of his alarms, which is just horrifying to think about. Um, and yet you're supposed to want these people to be together, and. Uh, I just don't. Uh, then the next half of the season is like trying to make her more likable. It's like the writers thought for a second, okay. How do we, okay, we need these characters to come back together. So how do we do that? Well, okay, we realized, wait, we just wrote these char this character horribly. So to get these characters back together, we need to re kind of restructure this a bit. And it worked out for that part of the season, but it makes you look back at the other half of the season like, uh, that's a different character from this point out to here. And so it's just kind of this whole thing here. And yeah, it, it, it just does not work. And I liked it. I like this show. Like, I'm not going to act like I don't. But, again, I have a bias since I'm already a fan of these characters and I have nostalgia for these characters. That doesn't mean I'm going, yeah, this thing's flawless and you guys should never criticize it. It just means I have a personal liking towards it. That doesn't mean I'm going to just excuse everything with it, though. I don't excuse everything with The Last Jedi, even though in a weird, twisted kind of way... I like that movie, flaws and all, and uh, I'm not going to act like it's a good movie because it is not. But, uh, yeah, there are things I like about this show, but overall I can see why this show only lasted one season. and It only has 16 episodes. It's not that long to watch, and if you have Disney Plus and you like The Muppets, I would recommend you watch it. I mean, you'll, I mean, you'll at least get some enjoyment out of it. And uh, it's not that long of a season, so. It's just disappointing to me, honestly, because there are things I think that if been more fleshed out, maybe the next season could have been better or something. But I really could see why this didn't take off. And now they're working on an unscripted, I believe, Muppet show. 
and for Disney Plus. And that, I feel like, is going to work out much better than this did. Because it could be something similar in this style, but maybe a little bit better. It's not going to be completely unscripted, I believe. Um, it's just going to have parts of it that are unscripted, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that show. And I will definitely be talking about that show when it comes out and what I think about that show. Um, but this is just kind of something that I really wanted to talk about. I did finish the season and I really enjoy, and I just wanted to revisit the show and kind of talk about it because I feel like this is a Muppet thing that not a lot of people have seen and there is reason for that, but I still think it's worth talking about and worth having more people check out because it is not terrible and maybe, maybe if I'm crazy enough, I could try to petition a revival just because I personally like it. I should create a petition on petition.com for this show to come back. Nobody would want this show to come back, to be honest, though. Nobody remembers this show.